Hi everybody, I'm Chris from Heligot.com. This is about the Linux bootloader called Grub. Let's view my default boot sequence. BIOS. Ramesh partition menu. Default disk 1 partition 1. Grub 1 type menu. Default Windows 7 on disk 2, partition 1. Booting Windows 7. This is my Linux SUSE boot menu. Type Grub1 on disk 1, partition 1. I use this kind of menu to keep track of which versions I have installed and where. My PC has a BIOS MBR system and does not require anything more complicated than this. Grub1 is so simple, just a text file, which is very easy to edit. Default number 6, that's the Windows 7, timeout 6 seconds, and I've added a bit of color with the GFX menu message. Bios. I have about five seconds to press spacebar to pause Ronish Partition Manager. I can now change the default bootloader to Partition 3. Press Enter. Another five seconds to pause. And this is a Grub 2 boot menu, Linux Kubuntu. And also here I can change to, for instance, Linux Fedora on Partition 2 Disk 1. Enter. Booting Linux Fedora. This is the Linux Grub 2 boot menu. Linux Kubuntu. I use Grub 2 for the four other Linux partitions on this PC. Linux Fedora, Linux Kubuntu, Linux Mint and Linux Ubuntu. And I use it because it's pretty. I don't really need this sophistication for my BIOS MBR desktop PC. Grab2 is really intended for newer PCs that use the UEFI-GAT system. Let's view another Grub2 boot sequence. BIOS. We'll pause here. The Ronish boot manager resides in the master boot record in the first disk on the first partition. When I change the default, what I'm doing is I'm changing the boot flag to this particular partition. And each partition has its own partition boot record. Let's now choose partition 2. Fedora's Grub2 boot menu. And why don't we switch down to... Partition 4 on the second disk, Linux Ubuntu. Enter. Booting Linux Ubuntu. Another Grub2 boot menu. This time Linux Fedora. Linux Ubuntu boot menu. And the Angel of the North, creation by Anthony Gormley. And finally, Linux Mint boot menu. Multiboot usually has only one boot menu. But with Ramesh Partition Manager, you can have one boot manager in each primary partition. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this. You might want to view my video about multi-boot and backup on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.